gymnastics coach accused of downloading explicit child porn not only had contact with his gym students but has been involved with other children for years now. Jeremy Waldridge worked in a daycare two years ago and more recently worked with cheerleaders from Clackamas High School. K2's Margie Lynch is there live and Margie it's difficult news obviously for administrators and their students I would imagine. So difficult Steve the people we're talking to say they feel sick to their stomach hearing about this and knowing that they worked with Wal Waldridge. Uh, now we talked to the principal here at Clackamas today. He says they sent letters home with their cheerleader students yesterday so their parents would know that the, the cheerleaders had had contact with Waldridge, working with him in special training. We also talked to a woman who worked with Waldridge two years ago at a daycare. All of this raising more questions about a man facing serious allegations. We went looking for Jeremy Waldridge starting at his home on Southwest Regal Court in Aloha. He didn't answer the door, and then a woman pulled up in the driveway in a car marked with the name of the gym, top notch. She wouldn't tell us where Jeremy was. A lot of parents have a lot of concerns, as you can understand. We wanted to find him to ask him about the allegations that he downloaded child porn, and ask him whether all the kids he's had contact with over the years were safe. Megan Coleman supervised Waldridge as a worker at Kindercare in Hillsboro. He was supplementing his income while um, getting his business going. She still can't believe what he's been accused of. I mean, we didn't see anything that was weird or, or off a little bit. And uh, working in that industry, you do kind of see people that you kind of have a second guess about. Or when you first meet them, you just have that feeling that they're not right for the job. But he was not one of those people. Um, he came in, he introduced himself to all the parents, all of the children. Um, he actually brought his own three-year-old to our center. Another woman calling herself the business manager of the now-closed gym says she's been in touch with Waldridge. She says the gym will stay closed for a week and then reopen, but she says they'll have no association with the now-accused coach. Now, Waldridge does not have a previous criminal record, and we asked Clackamas about doing a background check today, and they said they would not have done a background check because they were contracting out these services, and they also say that his uh, reputation was so good, that's why they went to Hillsboro to get his services. By the way, they got first in state last year after making contact with him and being trained by him. Live in Clackamas tonight, Margie Lynch, K2 News. It really is sending shockwaves throughout these uh, communities. All these people have it known is. him for so many years. Thank you, Margie. For